closed captioning brought to you by Illustrated Properties Real Estate. Our roots run deep. Greetings and welcome to South Florida Real Estate Update. Today, Tom Day, Senior Vice President for Illustrated Properties, steps into the international scene to discuss the impact foreign buyers are having on the real estate market in South Florida. And if you're looking for one of the most beautiful beaches in our area, Juno Beach fits the ticket. Plus, Attorney James Chiaffi shares an unbelievable story that cost one homeowner a bundle. And landscaping and flooring? inexpensive ways to spruce up the exterior and interior of your home. We have some expert advice. But first, let me say hi to Tom Day of Illustrated Properties, looking at the uh, uh, some statistics the other day, and Florida, number one in America in foreign buyers of real estate. The numbers are unbelievable. 63% uh, of all international purchases are in South Florida, and that's one out of four uh, sales in South Florida or to international buyers. I was just in a meeting with some fellow realtors and a woman sitting next to me li spends half of her year in France and she said her friends in France say oh the properties in South Florida they are so cheap. And we'd love to hear that. And it's, it's quite common. Uh, many countries uh, that we work with say the same thing that it is uh, a good price point in Florida. So these, to their countries. these foreign buyers are coming in with cash looking for vacation homes? Uh, vacation and second homes. Matter of fact, I think about 85% uh, paying cash. Now, Illustrated Properties, a big outfit, and uh, lots of foreign buyers calling Illustrated Properties. What do they um, expect from the company? Well, uh, the key is the good realtor, as I've said time and time again. And we, being such a large company, are fortunate to have... Uh, uh, international specialists that understand the tax ramifications and visas and also speak multiple languages. And when we say foreign buyers, we think uh, foreign languages, but so many of our buyers come from Canada. Canada is the biggest uh, source, but Brazil, Venezuela, and also the UK. Mm -hmm. There are some people who might think their home is appropriate to a foreign buyer. How would they, when they're looking for a listing agent, open up their home to a foreign market? Again, the right realtor that's experienced is going to know where to advertise the property and how to market it properly and appeal to those uh, buyers. So when you're talking about um, uh, foreign buyers, um, you have to find the right realtor and um, market your property and sell your property, and it can happen through Illustrated Properties. Absolutely. Okay, Tom, thank you. We'll talk to you a little My bit pleasure. later. Thank you. Now let's take a peek and see what this area has to offer. Juno Beach is a beautiful seaside community which is predominantly residential. It is located in the northern part of Palm Beach County on a barrier island between Palm Beach Gardens and Jupiter. With the intercoastal waterway on one side and the ocean on the other, the residents of Juno enjoy a virtual island lifestyle. With approximately 2,000 year-round residents and a peak seasonal population of around 6,000, Juno Beach maintains a very laid-back, small-town feel and is an ideal setting for a vacation home or permanent residence. There is ample beach access to some of the most pristine beaches in Florida, and Juno is a major turtle nesting ground. In fact, the Loggerhead Marine Life Center is located in Juno Beach. Many come to Juno Beach for its excellent waterfront activities for all ages, like sunbathing, surfing, and fishing with the 990-foot Juno Pier a major attraction for both. There are also ample trails and oceanfront paths for walking, jogging, and bicycling. Juno maintains large areas of natural coastal scrubland with paths for public enjoyment and has more well-maintained parks than many much larger cities, and most of these are on the water. Juno Beach literally has something for everyone, and property values here are rising. You can find homes at any price point, from well-maintained older homes, to single-family homes on the water, to condominiums, retirement living, 
and even fine oceanfront estates. All close to Juno's great beaches and activities, including the Jupiter Theater, nationally known golf courses, tennis courts, parks, shopping, and art galleries. Juno Beach truly is a Florida paradise. Choosing the right real estate agency and realtor makes a dramatic difference in the outcome of your transaction and overall experience. So before you make your decision, make sure your realtor has a solid understanding of the local market, lifestyles, and opportunities, as well as strong connections and trusted resources. Knowledge, experience, cutting edge technology. This is our culture. This is our promise. Illustrated Properties Real Estate. Our roots run deep. Are you tired of getting by the big box boys and the 1-800 numbers? We fix $37 installations, factory direct prices, and over a half million square feet of first quality brand name flooring products in stock will save you money. In addition, our in-house showroom has thousands of samples. If it goes on the floor, we have it. One call that's all, 561-848-0808. Welcome back to South Florida Real Estate Update. You don't have to be in this business very long to hear some unbelievable and unfortunate stories about people who've tried to rent or buy a house and the outcome was costly and could have been avoided. We have real estate attorney James Chiaffi with us today. Thanks for being with us, Jim. Pleasure to meet and you. And you are the Juris Doctor. I am. See my stethoscope okay. and my legal pad? Okay. My degree Juris Doctor from school. Okay, good. So you can um, uh, take the pulse of what a good real estate deal is, being an attorney, and you told me an incredible story that I still have a hard time believing. It's really a nightmare, and it's just hard to believe that someone could do this to another person. A uh, couple decided that they wanted to buy and rent a house, so they entered into a lease with an option to purchase. Well, they didn't realize that the person that they entered the into agreement with was not the actual owner of the property. <laughs> It was a scam, unfortunately. Right. So they gave the gentleman $40,000 for the option to purchase, along with the rent money, only to find out about a month later when the real owner came knocking to, the do to their door that, that that was a scam. So if they had an attorney involved in the transaction, we would have been sure that the money would have stayed in escrow mm -hmm. and not released to the owner, mm -hmm. so they would have been protected and not lost the $40,000. Because you're looking at all the um, fine print right. that we like to say right. are on contracts and where the money's going. Sure, and as the attorney for the buyer or the tenant, I would protect that person's interest and make sure, as I said before, that the money would be secure in an escrow account and not released until the appropriate time. Now, when I think of legal help, I, honestly, I think of expensive help. Um, but if you've lost $40,000 in a real estate transaction, your real estate help is cheap. That definitely. But also with title insurance in this area, mm -hmm. the party who pays for title insurance would be able to select me to be the, t the closing agent, oh. and there's no additional attorney's fee involved in that transaction. So they're getting legal advice along with the ability to obtain title insurance. And when you're buying a house, you can also use that deed as a vehicle for you know, future uh, estate planning. Sure. You can decide whether you want to buy the property in an individual name with another partner as joint tenants with rights of survivorship or tenants in common. Those are technical terms, but we would d discuss what's best for your situation. A trust, trusts are very common now. Limited liability companies. So there are different vehicles that we can use for estate planning purposes. So you're telling, you're telling uh, clients saying, you're lucky you called an attorney because Definitely, you don't know what can happen. Right, and then foreign investors. We have a lot of foreign people coming into this marketplace mm -hmm. and they're really treated differently from the uh, residents of the United States with regard to taxes. So they could have t a, a tax when they sell their property if they take ownership in their individual names versus if they form a United States limited liability company, they could avoid a tax upon the sale. It's the Foreign Interest in Real Property Tax Act. So that's another consideration that they wouldn't even know about unless they spoke with an attorney. And then visas and other sorts of uh, legal yes. thicket of, uh, of, of foreign buyers. Right. Right. And we're, we're blessed to have the foreign buyers, but they really need to, some guidance in how they should take the ownership of their property. So as an attorney, you also have a, a title insurance company. Yes. Not every attorney does, obviously. Right. right. And that company insures title in a transaction, either on a purchase or a refinance. 
and you are the Juris Doctor, and yes. uh, you're having a lot of fun with it, but um, it's, this is serious business. It is, and I write a column on a monthly basis also, Ask the Juris Doctor. So if anyone has any questions, they can email us, and we'll answer those questions in the future shows. James Giaffe, thank you for being here on South thank Florida you, Real Estate Update. I'm, thank it. you for the free legal advice. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> now let's get a tip on how you can appreciate your home. With Adam Emanuel of Adams Air Conditioning, settle a dispute in my house. Adam, is it saving money for using space heaters to heat the bedroom and the living room rather than turn on the furnace? Well, like most people, actually not. Uh, it uses about the same amount of electricity that your central air conditioning system heater would use. So this is a f much more efficient. Yes, and you're, and you're heating the whole home, not only one little spot. Plus, it's safer because it's not near maybe drapes or other things that could catch on fire. So it's more efficient, you're heating more, and it's safer if you use your furnace? Absolutely. So you're telling me my wife is right? Unfortunately, this time, yes. Adam, thanks for being here on South Florida Real Estate Update. It starts with a roof inspection. As a current homeowner, a buyer, or a seller, it's best to identify a roof's condition to determine the next course of action, if any. You can depend on the experts at State Certified Roofing to provide an honest and credible assessment of the roof and present options based on insurance company specifications, durability, design, cost, scheduling, and installation. State Certified Roofing. Certified to ensure excellence. There's a reason why Realtors turn to David Dunham Insurance. They want to help their buyers secure a homeowner's policy that delivers the best coverage and cost. As an independent insurance agent who is connected with over 25 A-rated companies, David Dunham Insurance connects homeowners with the best worry-free options available. Confidence, security, and cost adds up to peace of mind. That's why Realtors turn to David Dunham Insurance. Shouldn't you? Is your house, driveway, or patio looking a little discolored? Then call Paul Stetson Pressure Cleaning. Walls, driveways, patios, decks, fences, and all types of roofs, let us clean your home or business. We have been a member of the Better Business Bureau since 1991 and are the most experienced company in the northern Palm Beaches. Licensed and insured, Paul Stetson Pressure Cleaning is the reliable and affordable solution to your exterior cleaning needs. Call us today. I'm here with Joe Floyd of Impact Landscaping. Joe, so many people want to upgrade their home, and landscaping is a cheap way to do it. Yes, it is, and it really can make your home look good. Um, it, it, we can create a design for you that really is appealing, and it's a cheap and easy way to really give your house good curb appeal. And that wow look when people walk up to your house. Yeah, it will create that wow look. And we can create a plan and work with you on creating a plan that, that gives you a, a real curb appeal when f people initially look at your home. Joe, I wanted to ask you about that. What input do I have as a homeowner into the landscaping plans? Well, what we like to do with homeowners is ask them to go to their neighborhood, a community near them, any place, and take pictures of material they like. And after they take uh, pictures of the material they like, we'll work with them. We'll tell them, yes, that's a good plant to use. No, it's not. And then we create a design with what the, they've chosen. And the special challenges of Florida landscaping? Well, with the heat, drought, et cetera, we tend to like to use native stuff, but there are some materials that aren't native that are very adaptable to the Florida climate and really create a good appeal around your residence. I don't like to spend a lot of time working in my yard. Are there ways to put in plants that don't need a lot of maintenance? Yes, there are, and, and we tend to try to steer people in that direction to use materials that are easily maintained and don't take a lot of maintenance and, and don't take a lot of your time taking care of them. And this is something that can be done quickly, but plants last a long time. Yes, and we try to use material um, that will last for years and create that wow factor for years to come. 
You're talking material, but I'm talking about plants, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, plant material. <laughs> and so it takes, a, it takes a plan, though. Yes, it does. It takes us to putting a plan together, using stuff in the proper places, getting the proper tier of plants put in front of your residence. Landscaping, it grows on you. Joe Floyd, thank you, from Impact Landscaping. Welcome back. You can't talk about housing without talking about credit. And for that, I would like to talk again this program with Tom Day of Illustrated Properties and Janet Sacconi of Credit Us. Thank you for being here today. Tom, to first, here. the credit problems that you see people walking through the door at Illustrated Properties. It can be very disheartening. People want to buy a home and they turn down for credit problems. And in the past, it wasn't very fixable. Uh, it would take credit repair companies six months, nine months, even a year. And people would get disinterested and not buy. And now credit is so important, uh, it can affect other areas, not just getting a mortgage. So when I, this company, Credit Us, came to us and said, well, we can solve the problem and get it done in 37 days, I didn't believe it. Janice Sacconi, you are a senior credit analyst. You're working with customers. 37 days, really? Yes. I, I work directly with the clients, so I know all of the sad stories that they bring me, and I always do give them a, a lot of hope because it, we're here and we're here to help them and we're here to service them. So for everyone who's watching now who's not yet in a dire situation, what advice would you give them on how to stay out of a bad credit report? Well, generally, what's the most important thing in terms of credit reports is that they check them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people wait till the last minute and, you know, go to a lender, whether it be for a vehicle loan or a mortgage, and they find out that there's a lot of errors on their credit reports. And these are the things that we fix and we help them with, and we get them done in a very quick process. Where do these errors come from? Well, you know, the credit reporting agencies are not there to profit off um, the client and make sure that everything is accurate. They're there making profits by selling the data to um, companies. So that's where they're making their money. So it's up to you to make sure that your credit is in good standing and everything is accurate on it. Janet, you at Credit Us are not only fixing credit, but you're managing credit. What does that mean? Well, basically, not only are we trying to improve and remove and update as much of the credit items that we see there that are affecting their credit score um, that we can, but we're also going to educate our clients and explain to them, you know, what areas within their credit report they can help themselves with, lowering balances, reestablishing credit, and things like that. So, Tom, uh, the Illustrated Properties uh, partnership with Credit Us not only helps in getting housing, but it can help in your insurance rates or getting a car or a job. It's unbelievable. I, I can also tell you, it, probably 30% of the time when someone was previously rejected, we're able to get them approved for the mortgage. It's wonderful. And so this costs something, of course, but you can also save something. So sometimes you have to spend to save, right? Well, you're not spending as much as you would on the interest rate that you're going to be hiked up on if you have a bad credit score. So you have to think about, you know, what you're going to do in terms of uh, improving your credit so that you later on when you get all the loans that you may be trying to get in the future, how much is that going to cost you if you have a low credit score? Good point. Jan Sacconi of Credit Us and Tom Dave Illustrated Properties, as always. Thanks for being here on South Florida Real Estate Update. Our Thank pleasure. you. Thank you. We're all inundated with promotional messages about how to secure a mortgage. It's hard to know what to do. That's where Janine Henrion from Group One Mortgage comes in. Not only does she have the expertise to uncover your best options, she is there to help you every step of the way. It was our dream to be homeowners, and we didn't think it would happen as quickly as it did because we didn't have a lot of money going into the process. But using a VA loan, Janine was really able to help us out. Absolutely. She made it as effortless as possible. Janine Henrion. Count on her to go the extra mile. Who is it? I'm Roger of Adams Air Conditioning. I'm sorry, I'm not used to technicians showing up on time. We get that a lot. May I come in? It's so hot in here. Exactly 92.4 degrees to be exact. Just look at my kids. Do something for Pete's sake. Help me, Roger of Adams Air Conditioning. You're our only hope. I'm on it. You did it! Thank you. No need to thank me. It's what we do. 
If you're asking yourself, will anyone help me save my home? Direct your question to James A. Chaffee Esquire, a.k.a. The Juris Doctor. Through his daily practice and legal advice column, Mr. Chaffee provides his diagnosis and a path to help homeowners achieve the best possible outcome. If you're dealing with a tough situation or simply closing on a home, don't go it alone. Make sure you have proper representation. The Juris Doctor, real estate attorney James A. Chaffee, by your side. Dr. Charlie Manier at the Loggerhead Marine Life Center here in Juneau Beach. Tell me about Denver. Denver is a subadult loggerhead turtle uh, that came in on Super Bowl Sunday, hence the name. Uh, came in alongside another loggerhead the same day that uh, we named Seattle. Seattle, well. Denver, okay, right. I get it. <laughs> uh, and Denver is extremely sick, very anemic and so forth, and we've got him on a special treatment uh, right now that he's receiving and this is uh, uh, intravenous nutrition uh, to help uh, bring the turtle around. It's like a baby formula. Uh, pretty much so but it's, it's given in the vein and uh, so they don't have to digest it and uh, seems to bring them around fairly quickly. And this is the only place in the world that this is being done? With uh, this particular uh, substance and, and with the sea turtles it's the only place, yes. With only a few years of turtle research experience, experimentation is necessary. It's very necessary because uh, veterinary medicine with sea turtles is in its infancy. And we're having to uh, borrow from other fields and, and develop things as we go. And so, yes, we have to experiment around a little bit uh, in order to save as many of these turtles as we can. So what's the uh, future hold for Denver? Well, he's going to be here for a while. We hope to make him completely healthy. Uh, he's been sick for a long time, so it takes him a little while to get well. Uh, but he'll be here for probably six months or so, and then we we'll be, should be able to release him back into the wild. And that's the goal of all the turtles that you bring in here. Exactly. We're a hospital. We want to make these turtles all healthy and send them back to the population so that they can reproduce and uh, save the endangered and threatened turtles out there. But for now, we can go out and see... Oh, uh, feeding time is over. Yeah, feeding time's over. And we're going to be able to put uh, Denver back out in the uh, tanks. Yeah, we're going to put him out there and you get to see him in the water. Dr. Charlie Manier, thanks for being here on South Florida Real Estate Update. You're quite welcome. Welcome back to South Florida Real Estate Update. I'm in Riviera Beach along I-95 at Bargain Bob's. I'm here to talk to Andy about carpet. Andy, it's good to see you. Same here, Kurt. We are surrounded by some beautiful carpet here, but as a homeowner, what considerations would I take into account to choose my carpet? Uh, some points to look at would be the use of the room. Is it high traffic or medium traffic? Uh, would kids or pets play a part on the abuse of the floor? <laughs> Are you on a budget or what type of texture are you going to choose? You have color, patterns, high lows, densities, um, a lot to choose from. And choosing the right product is key based on how you would like the, the carpet to wear and the sustainability of the, the texture of the carpet. Um, something to consider would be, is carpet the right choice for that floor? Would you consider laminate, tile, or maybe wood? At Bargain Bob's, we can definitely help you make the right choice. And we also carry those products at Bargain Bob's. Okay, but let's say my wife is just in love with carpet, but she wants to know, has carpeting changed over the last 10 years or so? But it certainly has, Kurt. In the past, with the old technology, carpet was produced and the fibers were treated topically with a stain-resistant agent. With the new technology, the fibers ha have a built-in stain-resistant agent, and it lasts the lifetime of the carpet. It's a very durable product, easy to clean, cleans with basically hot water, and it comes with a lifetime stain warranty. And you have many different weaves and patterns to choose from as well. That's absolutely right, Kurt. So the bottom line is you have choices, 
and you just have to fit those choices into what your budget is and what the use of your carpet is going to be. You basically hit the nail on the head, Kurt. <laughs> Andy at Bargain Bobs, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for being on South Florida Real Estate Update. Thank you, Kurt. It's been a pleasure. Do you have a question about real estate or something that we've talked about here on the program that you'd like to have answered on the air? Of course you do. Well, ask Kurt. Email me at kurtfonger at sfreu.com. Kurtfonger at sfreu.com. It's easy. You know you want to. Email me. Next week is a show not to miss. We are going to talk about one of the biggest threats inside your home, insects. We're going to go inside the walls. Palm Coast Pest Control will tell us how to protect our homes. And we're going to go behind the scenes at the Kravis Center to talk about Sister Act. It's a lot of fun and it's all here next week on South Florida Real Estate Update. Does your home have curb appeal? The impact of landscaping, especially here in South Florida, is incredible. It's a big part of how we assess the value of a home, a community, even a lifestyle. It takes vision, talent, and expertise to create a design that makes a truly great impression, one that will wow you today and grow throughout the years. Innovative, green, and gorgeous. Impact Landscaping, the clear choice. And there you are. That's it for us for today. But be sure to check in with us again next week. Looking for a new home or ready to put your home on the market? Tom Day shares key questions you should be asking to make sure you find the best realtor for you. And remember to log on to our website to view shows, access information, and learn about our local experts and more. For South Florida Real Estate Update, I'm Kurt Fonger. Until next time, have a good week.